Well, Corpus Christi has searched for sustainable water supply solutions for decades now, and that search often leads to a discussion on desalination. Now, just two days ago, the city council was told the obvious, and that's that Corpus Christi needs more water. And both city and port officials now believe the need for desal is closer than ever. But is that just a pipe dream? Well, that's a good question. And our Greg Chandler has more tonight in this special report. Water, it's one of the building blocks of life, something every city needs to grow and thrive. It's probably the most important thing you can have for your community in order to be successful. You don't have water, you become a community of tumbleweeds and people have to leave. The Coastal Bend currently gets its fresh water from Lake Corpus Christi. We're the regional water supplier. We're just not the city of Corpus Christi. We, we supply Port Aransas, we supply uh, San Patricio Water District, we supply Beeville, uh, Kingsville. But Lake Corpus Christi is a finite resource, one which needs rain to replenish it. We can do a lot of things as elected officials, but we can't make it rain. But the region is called the Coastal Bend for a reason. It sits on the Gulf of Mexico, an endless supply of salt water unfit for most uses. We've got to find desal. But Mayor Joe McComb sees an opportunity, an opportunity for Corpus Christi to become a pioneer in desalination, the process of taking salt out of seawater, making it safe to use. For years, critics dismissed desalination as a pipe dream, saying that converting salt water into fresh water wasn't a cost-effective solution. But Mayor McComb made desal a key point of his re-election campaign because he believes desal here is closer than ever to reality. We're getting there. I think pretty shortly we're going to be able to make a decision on where we can locate the plant and then make a decision to pull the trigger to build it. But the city can't do desal alone. It needs a partner to help foot the bill. That's where the Port of Corpus Christi comes in. When you're talking about desalination as a solution, it's not something that you can decide on today and implement tomorrow. In addition to a city study using a $2 million grant, the port is exploring a pair of options. Port officials have started the permit processes for sites at La Quinta near Gregory and on Harbor Island. The La Quinta site would cover industrial water while Harbor Island would take care of potable water. Ideally what we'll have is a package that will have all the permits that are needed for a desalination plant and be able to turn it over for construction. So the port is an integral part in this whole process and they've been a good partner. Working together we're going to solve this problem. Desalination is still at least a few years away though. That's a few more years added to what's been a generational debate. But everyone involved agrees if desal isn't the solution one needs to be found both for the city but as Corpus Christi continue to grow we've got to find a water supply for the future and the region in our opinion it is a game changer we we do need to have water to continue to grow Greg Chandler Chris 6 News now if officials can make desalination work Mayor McComb envisions Corpus Christi being able to supply other thirsty parts of the state with all the water they want and he says the economic impact from that would be tremendous. The mayor also added that technological advancements in desal have made the cost comparable to what the city spends now for water treatment.